Kay, it's 14 years ago since he passed. He took his life, Nick, and it was 2009. So he'd been at the club for a while. Mm. And he'd had, he had difficulties as a teenager and we were, up, we were able to take a lot of help with psychiatrists and psychologists. And it was a bit of a roller coaster, but not many people knew he was suffering kind of mental health. It was Did the, you know much about it, Butters, at then? You learned. Well, you, you actually, what happens when you have a child who is suffering, you being a kind of research, you do everything you possibly can to yeah. investigate all the ways to mitigate and to, to try to remove that kind of discomfort. So anyway, yeah, so you actually learn a lot and you're drawing upon all the interventions that's going to help and you do everything you can. You walked into the, the world to actually try to you know, help your child. But unfortunately, the day came when he, it could be a moment of despair where, okay, he took his life. And that, that had significant impact on us as a family. It definitely rocked our world. And there was, was a period where, you know, geez, what do we need to do to deal with this situation? And when anything that, like that happens, you, it's, you automatically go into kind of this numbness. It's a shock. You, you go into shock. And, 